Dear students, here we will talk about an important chromatographic parameter known as selectivity factor and denoted by alpha. Uh, so if we have, let's say, two components in a, in a column chromatography separation, uh, one is component uh, A, another one is component B. Say, for example, uh, K1 is distribution coefficient of the component A as distribution coefficient or Kc is represented as the concentration of solute in the stationary phase divided by the concentration of solute in the mobile phase. It's a ratio. So for example, uh, there is a column and the component A has less affinity or attractive force with the stationary phase so it will move faster down the column and will be eluted first. So it has a value k1 for its distribution coefficient. And then we have another component, component B, that has k2 value for its distribution coefficient and k2 is higher than k1 mean the component B has more attractive forces with the stationary phase so there will be higher concentration of solute in the stationary phase as compared to mobile phase of this very component B hence it will be eluted later and its distribution coefficient value will be higher so k2 is higher than k1 now what is alpha or selectivity factor? Alpha is actually K2 by K1. That's the ratio of the distribution coefficient of the components. And the value of alpha is either 1 or greater than 1. These are its values, its range. Minimum 1. To explain this, we can have these different uh, situations. Like we have component A and component B here and in this very case we have the value of alpha quite higher than 1. For example, uh, if, if we can say that like that the uh, K2 is like 3 and K1 is like 1 so the value is 3 and these components are well separated from each other. And the time difference between the two components to be eluted from the column is quite significantly different from each other. There is much time and volume space between the two peaks mentioning that these two components have been eluted or have been migrated at a greater distance from each other. Also indicated by their respective distribution coefficients. So, these are well separated from each other, but the point is that uh, they are separated, but there is much volume involved between the two peaks, which in terms is not much desirable actually. We want to separate the components, but we also want to separate the components in less time, with less volume of the mobile phase. So, we have another situation, case 2, where alpha value equals 1, that is k1 is equal to k2. So if k2 and k1 have the same value, then alpha will be equal to 1, and there will be no separation of these two components. These two components will elute at the same time, so no separation. And in this very case, let's say, we have an alpha value of 1.2, the components have been separated and there is very less volume difference or time difference between the two peaks of the components. So our requirement is to separate the components effectively and there should be less volume or space present between the two separated components. So, conclusively we can say 
that the alpha value plays an important role in terms of knowing the extent of separation of components in a mixture. If the alpha value is greater than 1, the separation will be quite effective. Larger the value of alpha, there will be more gap between the components of a mixture in the column and hence in their signals when they are eluted from the column. So that's how alpha factor is important in chromatographic separations.